And to say, all I can say is thank you for the bathroom, bathroom set. I hope you can hear me in heaven. She landed one night with a bathroom set, mate. There's a bathroom set there, so it was all right. Thank you very much. Don't know where you got it, don't know where you want to get it, but thank you very much. As I say, you know, it's a team, she's going to be sorely, sorely missed. So, I mean, her battle, her crack, I mean, where's my Jimmy? That's all I used to hear. Play Catherine. Thank you very much. Don't worry, it's all good. 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 Remember when Nadie was hiding down behind the car, some of our team there, and Stitch is laughing, hiding from her. But the two of them are thick as thieves, you know. As I say, it's, it's one of those things, I've lost so many people who I call friends and service users to them over the last few months, and loads more over the last two years. It has to stop. It needs to stop. Do you know what I mean? Somebody needs to do something about it. As I say, Catherine's a piece now. It's up our mommy and her family members and her friends that went before her. So I would like to say it was absolutely privileged, privileged to know Catherine's a friend yeah. and she'll be sorely, sorely missed by all the dates for each. So she will. See you later. Well, Catherine Kenny, I can sorely say now it was the most, one of the most important people in my life. I stood here in the streets, I was homeless up on stage. People sometimes when you get off the streets, people judge and say, oh, well, she got it, she made it, she done it. Having them supported me from the streets and I supported her from the streets. I now drive a car. I now go to university. I now yeah. I now volunteer for charity that helps and supports people so whenever they get out of prison. And Calvin Kenny. I had her in the back of a clue one time, took her out of this town, took her into Don Goody. And she was like, I am proud of you, I am proud of you, I am proud of you. She will have nothing but a good word to say about every single one of you. She will have nothing but a good word to say about you. Do you know what I mean? The last time I think I met her, I had some of her stuff sometime, or for a good while there. I had some of her stuff, some of her most precious stuff, which now is with her family. And every time I gave her stuff, every time I gave her clothes, she came back to me with no shoes, no coat, no hat, no nothing. I said, Catherine, where's the stuff I gave you? She said, I gave it to the person up the street who needed it. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, that happened about three times. Do you know what I mean? That happened three times. She would have gave you the shoe off her foot. And I am not joking. She would have gave you the shoe off her foot. And she shouldn't have died. Catherine was very special. He, I, I met her like uh, Gary did a year ago. I get her car, I let go to the car, and I said, Go to the lake, and she just told me to get a car. <laughs> <laughs> I got into the car and I, I drove away and I come back around again, I stopped again and over the car and she said, are you back? <laughs> I said, Catherine, I'll be back every night. She said, I may as well take something off you. But Catherine took very little. 
every time I ask her, oh, all she would have did was <laughs> put the tomato soup with a taste of milk in it. And how she drank it, I don't know. I can tell you even better. Body, solid with brown sauce and solid cream. Yeah. And that there's what she was yeah. eating for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like the the girls, comedy I can remember. <laughs> Come in around the corner, and all I can hear was, Where's my Jimmy? Where's my Jimmy? And every night, Catherine was looking at the Jimmy. But I was talking to her, the doctor, Jimmy passed, and she said to me, I miss my Jimmy. And I at times I didn't know what to say, and it's very rarely I lost the words. But when after, I just couldn't tell her what happened to her to me. There was a lot of stories about things, and I just said, after, you're the dummies in heaven, and one day, you will meet them. And you were thinking you were getting in the car. God help St. Peter. When Catherine goes up to that gate, where is my Jimmy? And when Catherine was in hospital, we had a couple of times, and uh, we went up to the visitor area, the season was up, and they were laughing, and they were crying. But all I can remember is happy times. I remember the one night here, I had to lift her off the bonnet of a minibus. So she wouldn't let them move. So I just dropped her, carried her over to the doorway. But Catherine will be very, very sadly missed. And when Gary mentioned her about what has to be done, it's all right coming round, round the doorway at night, hand out food, hand out seat and bags, and they do need it, but they need more help. Uh, people were, they were just getting the door a day that we're doing too much for them. And I'm telling you now, I'm a lot of shit. I'm going to do more than I can. And if I can put out a team on a Saturday night and a Sunday night as well, I will do it because the more the merrier. Because these people need us. And then Catherine, Catherine Hodge.